Hi, I'm Kumar and Piramal, the Finance Manager at Waipa District Council. Rates are charged to property owners every year. It is this money that helps us deliver most of the services and projects. In fact, rates make up more than half of Council's income. As part of our 10-year plan, we are suggesting some changes to the way we collect our rates. It's not about increasing how much we collect, it's about cutting the rates by differently and splitting rates more fairly among different property owners. The changes we are suggesting are all about making rates affordable, especially for those on low or fixed incomes, and making sure the rates we charge are as fair as possible. There are three key changes. Change number one. For one of the biggest parts of the rates bill, being the targeted ward rate, properties with one house are charged the same as properties with two or more dwellings. If we look at this in real life terms, a property with one dwelling pays a targeted ward rate of say $1,100. Then you get a property with three flats. They also pay a targeted ward rate of $1,100. So that works out to be around $366 per flat. And then you get a property with 129 separate units, say a retirement village. They also pay a targeted ward rate of $1,100. So that's around $8.50 per unit. We don't think this is fair. So we are proposing to introduce a UAGC rate that will be charged to each dwelling on a property. This means that properties with more than one dwelling would pay more than properties with just one dwelling. So using the same properties as above, the changes would go like this. The property with one dwelling will pay a UAGC of $400. The property with three units would pay a UAGC of $400 for each unit. So that's $1,200. The property with 129 units would pay a UAGC of $400 per unit. So that's $51,600. We think this is much fairer. Every household is paying its fair share. The new UAGC will be phased in over a six-year period, starting at $400 in year one and increasing to $715 by year six. Change number two. The per property targeted ward rate will reduce substantially over the six years as the UAGC is introduced. These per property rates are not seen as fair, so they will become a much smaller portion of the rates bill. Change number three. A portion of rates is also based around the capital value of your property. So that's the value of your house and the land it sits on. In WIPA, the portion of rates that are based on capital value is relatively low, and we are proposing to increase this portion over the next six years. We believe this is important for rates affordability. Let's look at another real life scenario to explain this one. On the left, we have house A. This house is worth $620,000. House B is worth $240,000. Currently, the capital value of house A is two and a half times greater than the value of house B. Yet, house A only pays 30% more rates than house B. The changes we are proposing will result in house A paying 41% more rates than house B at the end of six years. To find out what this means for you, check out the rating calculator on futurewipa.co.nz. While you're there, make sure you tell us what you think. We'd love to hear from you.